marching to orders. Major General, then Brigadier General, Maxwell D. Taylor, 014-848, 101st Airborne Division, United States Army, for gallantry in action against the enemy on 12 June 1944, near Carenton, France. To capture the important key town of Carenton, Brigadier General Taylor personally conceived, directed a river crossing, which was entirely successful and permitted elements of the division to flank the city. Other elements of the division were directed on the opposite flank of the city, and after very bitter fighting, the city was taken. In the enemy counterattack that followed, Brigadier General Taylor personally directed the movement and disposition of the troops for the defense of the city. By his presence in the forefront of the fight, inspired his men to successfully ward off the attack. Superb leadership and personal courage, Brigadier General Taylor, were in keeping with the highest tradition of the armed forces of the United States, entered the United States Military Academy from Missouri. Major General Maxwell D. Taylor. I taste for the Distinguished Service Order, pretty. Brigadier General Norman D. Cota, 05284, 29th Infantry Division, United States Army, for gallantry in action against the enemy on 6 June 1944 at Fairville, Samir, France. Brigadier General Cota reorganized the forward elements of the division after sustained numerous casualties on the initial landing. Face of heavy enemy rifle, machine gun, an artillery fire, he personally led the division in the assault and continued in the forefront of the fight until the division had moved inland to capture its objective. The courage and outstanding leadership of Brigadier General Cota were an inspiring example to his men, were in keeping with the highest tradition of the armed forces of the United States and the United States Military Academy in Massachusetts. Brigadier General Norman D. Cota. Citation for the Distinguished Service Order British. Colonel Charles D. W. Canamo, 16496, 116th Infantry, United States Army, for gallantry in action against the enemy on 6 June 1944 at Fairville, Samir, France. Although wounded while on the beach in the initial landing on the coast of France, he refused to be evacuated and reorganized his unit under the fierce enemy rifle fire, machine gun, and artillery fire. He succeeded in gathering together his badly battered battalion and personally led them in a vigorous assault inland beyond the beach, thereby reaching the unit's objective. The personal bravery and prowess displayed by Colonel Canham were in keeping with the highest tradition of the armed forces of the United States and of the United States Military Academy from Mississippi. Colonel Charles D. W. Canham. I 
presentation for the Distinguished Service Order British, Captain Sam H. Ball, Jr., 0106568, 146th Engineer Combat Battalion, United States Army, gallantry in action against the enemy on 6 June 1944 in the vicinity of Fairvale, Samaire, France. The 146th Engineer Combat Battalion was assigned a mission of clearing underwater obstacles from a portion of the beach so that landing craft could beach and discharge the support elements and equipment of the assault infantry. Because of a heavy sea, half of the company failed to land on the beach. Of those landing, 25% became casualties. Despite such overpowering odds, Captain Ball proceeded to reorganize his company and in the face of heavy observed enemy fire, personally led his men in the accomplishment of their mission. The determination and heroic leadership displayed by Captain Ball in overcoming difficult and hazardous conditions is in keeping with the highest traditions of the armed forces of the United States. Captain Sam H. Ball, Jr. Citation for the Military Medal, British Technical Sergeant Philip Dresig, 32182713, 16th Infantry, United States Army, for gallantry in action against the enemy on 6 June 1944 near Colville, sur le Maire, France. Technical Sergeant Dresig was one of the first men to enter the maze of enemy trenches and dugouts, and in desperate hand to hand fighting, cleared out. After departure, in this fighting, he captured an officer running enemy soldiers. He landed with complete disregard for his own safety and without assistance, assaulted and destroyed an enemy machine gun nest. The heroic, courageous actions of Technical Sergeant Strezik are in keeping with the highest tradition of the armed forces of the United States and his military service in Mississippi. 